Linda, can you tell me uh, what is uh, strategic workforce planning? Yes, yeah, strategic workforce planning is a methodology to align the uh, policy of the future uh, of the board of an organization together with the HR uh, policy of your employee, uh, yeah, employees working for your company. So to see whether your current workforce and the workforce that is uh, developing to, into the future, if that aligns with the uh, strategy of the future. Can you also tell me uh, some concrete examples uh, where uh, strategic workforce planning is of added value for an organization? Uh, yes, of course. In the Netherlands we applied strategic workforce planning at different organizations. Um, we did some uh, assignments or we, we gave some advices to organizations within the public sector, but also on corporate organizations, both in the financial sector and not financial sector. Um, there are some questions which are relevant for almost all companies. For for example, what's the effect of the increasing in retirement age, but also um, the effect of aging of my population. But there might also be more company-specific issues. Uh, for example, uh, how do I manage to get more uh, women in uh, the top of my organization? Do I need to take some extra measures to, to get there? Um, so yeah, that's what we did in the Netherlands. Uh, and now I'm wondering, how do you see we can apply this in the Dutch Caribbean? Yeah, in the Netherlands, uh, we applied uh, strategic workforce planning to the uh, larger organizations. Mm -hmm. uh, but nevertheless, I think uh, strategic workforce planning is also applicable uh, to, to Aruba. Uh, why is that? Well, uh, for example, in Aruba, uh, also there the pension age is increasing so you have to identify uh, what the consequences are for your workforce and uh, for the possibility to execute your uh, strategy uh, another example is uh, well the hospital the hospital wants to know uh, how is my medical resources uh, developing and uh, can i maintain the quality uh, of the of the medical aid of the medical services uh, in aruba and that's not only a question for the hospital but it's a question for the whole aisle uh, because uh, medical services, medical aid uh, will need to uh, stay up to standard. Mm -hmm. And do you see other possibilities to apply this within the Dutch Caribbean except for the medical sector? Yes, uh, for example, uh, there, are, there are organizations uh, where the um, uh, well, personnel development uh, is very low, there's no, almost no outflow, so that means that there's also no inflow of talent. Uh, there's new talent coming from uh, from Netherlands, uh, highly educated people that you want to integrate in your organization. Uh, so you have to think about, uh, although uh, the, uh, the workforce is quite stuck, mm -hmm. how can I integrate these new people in my organization uh, to make sure that I'm ready for the, for the future. Uh, another uh, thing is, uh, well, you, sh you should have a more integral view on your personal planning uh, on the island. Uh, why is that? Uh, probably there are some sectors uh, where economic growth is expected, like for example tourism. Uh, maybe uh, there's other sectors where uh, th that are shrinking, so less personnel is necessary there. So maybe you can exchange uh, personnel between sectors. And why would it be beneficial for me to visit the Strategic Workforce Planning Seminar? Well, uh, because uh, we're, well, we're speaking there uh, about what is strategic workforce planning. Uh, we will also give some concrete examples, practical examples, how we apply strategic workforce planning uh, in the Netherlands. And we also look at some concrete examples for the Dutch Caribbean. How can you apply uh, within the small house of the, of, the, of the Dutch Caribbean? How can you apply strategic workforce planning? As PwC, we developed a model. Uh, with this model, we give insights in measures taken and what do these measures, uh, what kind of consequences do they have for your, uh, for your workforce and for your ability to execute uh, your strategy. And so I think it's very worthwhile for boards of directors, for HR people to come to the sem seminar and discuss with us about uh, strategic workforce planning. And so therefore I want to invite uh, everyone to come to, uh, to our seminar and to discuss with us uh, the topic strategic workforce planning.